you. Who's ready to get the contest going? I'm going to bring out to the stage one of my very best friends, my little brother. He's going to be our host for tonight. I gave the pitch a microphone. I'm going to pay for it. Yes. International Leather Boy, 1976. I mean, <laughs> you were always first, asshole. <laughs> She's my younger, uglier sister. Um, Bam Bam, International Leather Boy, 2012. I'm allergic. Come here, I was promised a cocksucker behind my podium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my knees. So I promised JP that I would be nice, but not because I like JP, but oh I got two more of these? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna line those up. At some point all of these will be used today. Hey! <laughs> I think he may have died on those stairs. And last but not least, representing the women tonight, contestant number eight, competing for Miss Atlanta Eagle, makes a noise for Cavs. Favorite hanky color is pounds to uh, pink, leopard all on the left side, and then mustard on the right. Dirty girl. So, Kaz, why don't you tell us why you would like to be the next Miss Atlanta Eagle? Uh, first off, hi guys. Um, I'm Kaz. I want to thank. Uh, sorry, thank you. Uh, I want to thank everybody, um, like all my friends here at the bar. First, uh, my sponsors, uh, Master Dwayne, uh, for all my leather downstairs, Tandy Leather for all the things for my house and my business. Parking leather as well, uh, and the distinguished uh, panel of judges. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Um, I'm competing for Miss Atlanta Eagle because nearly two years ago, uh, I walked into this bar as a 22-year-old, uh, still grappling with the idea that I was queer, and still coming to terms with the fact that I had some sadomasochistic tendencies. Yeah. Were normal, um, but thanks to many of you who are in this room today, I am able to stand here and compete for Mrs. Atlanta Eagle because you guys and this bar have shown me that I have just as much of a right to be here as a young queer feminine leather woman as some of the oldest constituents of this bar. Yeah. So I'm because I want to be able to give back to the bar and the community uh, that fosters so much personal growth in me, and I want to do anything in my power to make sure that uh, this bar and this community is still here for people like me in the future, you know, for young girls like me, young people like me to come and see that they too have a home that they too do a bar. I'm going to have you step right up there because I want people to be able to see you as you talk about this because I think it's probably going to be hot. Yeah! So, right? So we'd like to know what's the kinkiest, dirtiest, nastiest, hottest thing you've done in the Atlanta Eagle. My off-the-cuff answer is it's going to be the section I'm going to have after this contest. Yay! That being, that being said, uh, I am a little bit slow to rise with people that I don't know, so I haven't done anything too much yet. Uh, I did show my belly button to all of the men downstairs, and she doesn't come out very often. So I said that was a good step. Me. Uh, anybody that knows me, you know, I'm going to go in and like show myself very much. So uh, that's all I got right now. But I think it's a good start. Fetishes, pump and pony play, impact play, and biting. The hottest sex scene that she's ever had in play gear or fetish gear says that they place their arms around me, slowly closing in. They winced as my sharp points penetrated the skin. Their arms, legs, belly, chest, buttocks, eyes, and organs all felt my steel. Not enough to kill but just enough to make them bleed their love for me. In this, I come to you as the Inverted Iron Maiden. I said, God damn, that gave me this kind of shit.
Thanks, Nitro. What are your top three themed sales items? Well, we have a mixed bag of nipple pasties. We have several assortments of penile implants. And then I think we would have um, several variations of spike sex. <laughs> Please bring to the stage contestant number eight, Kaz. Kaz. Kaz, I'm over here, pumpkin. We're gonna have you pick out one of these bags. There you go. Now, if you look down here, ma'am, you'll see that there is a slew of other toys that you might like to play with. If so, we can trade one of those. I have a fucking sad shirt tonight. You're seeing all right. In that case, no, they're going to help you out of this really fast. Your fancy things, messy. I totally understand. I don't get to wear fancy things very often. Well. Lizzie, you dirty bird. Do you know how many boys in this room would kill to have Sir Alan help them out of his, their clothes? Where's the men? Where's the women? There's a lot of time, Alan. That was impressive. You ready, Cass? All right. Hold on one second, honey. You're going to take this. You're going to hand each item to Nitro first so that he can get it all. She did not want to trade anything. She's ready to go. You'll hand each one of these items over to him. He'll get it prepped for you, and we'll talk about it, all right? So first up out of the bag is a scrub brush. Uh-huh. Nice toilet brush, Dana. You are so lucky. What's next? A scrub sponge. Nitro! <laughs> You are a dirty boy, Dana. What's next? An industrial sized roll of toilet paper. Or, <laughs> or paper towels. A or B. It depends on what kind of day it was. And uh, fudge grams. This could only go downhill. Lizzie, girl, you got a medal. Lizzie, 
Bowman. Lindy, out of the cleavage. Out of the cleavage. <laughs> Just yell for backstage. Well, I got to take her shirt off. <laughs> Sir, do we need to talk? <laughs> yeah. All right, give it up for our new Miss Atlanta Eagle 2015. These are your new Mr. Atlanta Eagle, Miss Atlanta Eagle, and Mr. Southeast Rubber 2015. Thank you, everyone, for joining Atlanta Leather Prize 2015. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to our producers, my co-producer for the contest team, and my co-producer for the event, the wonderful Sir Allen. Our presenting sponsors, Hot Leather Rubbery Gear Club, Panther Leather Levi, the Atlanta Eagles. TechSeaman.com